when you follow my YouTube channel, uh, you can always see that I make a kind of hard wired circuits. Here a few of them, successful or not, some of these circuits were published because they were successful. Many of these circuits were published because they did not work at all and I only want to publish uh, circuits that really work. Here for instance the Schmidt trigger that worked by the way. Anyway, uh, what's this? Uh, this is a transformer driver. Uh, you can drive with the help of a uh, high voltage transistor, a um, coil, a transformer, especially a transformer. And it was published on YouTube because it was successful. Uh, here's some other circuits. This circuit was published, by the way, in the past. So, uh, say a table full of uh, successful or not successful circuit, but uh, the whole idea of this video is that they are all hard wired. So no printed circuit boards and uh, that has of course say uh, also to do in a certain way with the quality of the wiring and that's important. And that's what all that I wanted to tell. Here is a big bunch of so-called in the Netherlands telephone wire. It was used in the past in the 1980s, 70s, 90s etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, to make a uh, telephone wiring over the whole house. Say, uh, from the cellar to the attic, etc. etc. Uh, and I bought it on the flea market and the good thing of this wire is that it has extremely good properties. Uh, properties uh, regarding the isolation materials that are used uh, not only on the outside, say in the sleeve, but also on the inner side. I want to pay a tiny piece of attention to it because this whole uh, um, issue is a kind of sea to drink. So, this is that big bunch. Put it on the ground now and here we go to the... So, to the internal wires inside that telephone cable. You can see they are color coded. Uh, here's a piece of plastic that, that is uh, necessary for insulation. There is say a blank wire inside and it's, there are of course standard color codes. I don't know that exactly. Also not important uh, regarding uh, say when we want to harvest good quality wiring out of such a old telephone cable. A wear and tear. Here is a kind of fabric inside that makes that, that the cable just cannot break easily. That's a very good uh, thing of that cable. And furthermore, there's not so much more to tell. Uh, especially about the high quality, very high quality of the plastics that are used. So, uh, this is a kind of drawing that I made. About harvesting these cables. Why do these cables work so good? Of course, because they were used in official telephone lines in the 1990s, 1980s, 2000s, etc., etc. So they had to use high quality materials. And so the answer to that question is why is this wire so good? Because the isolation of the massive copper wire that's here, massive copper wire approximately 0.2 millimeters 
uh, has an extremely high quality. You can use that. Uh, let's say uh, the good thing of of this ca kind of old telephone cable. You can use it directly here. All these wires to uh, make shortwave radio coils. Say approximately six or ten windings on a well varnished toilet roll. The copper is also has also a very high quality uh, and I found uh, that that was not good that I bought a copper cable in the past it was made in China and the quality of the copper was uh, very very bad. It was a stranded cable I couldn't even properly solder to it. That means that that copper has say an oxide layer on its outer side, it's not properly stranded or it was stranded in a factory where there was already oxide in the uh, say the cable anyway. And uh, in the past they used specific plastics and uh, you can see it here perhaps of course it's more or less impossible to say uh, give a good idea about the quality of the plastics but it's very high and say when you put it in a flame it gives a certain smell and that means also that it is a typical kind of plastic I cannot go too uh, deep into that but anyway uh, when you do experiments you surely will find out the, the quality of isolation materials of cables. So again some pen over. Thanks for watching by the way. Uh, it lasts perhaps quite long. Um, anyway, what is the importance of high or low quality plastics? When you send in here an, even an audio signal and especially it regards uh, signals on higher frequencies through a cable, there must be a certain distance between the two say a cable lines to in a certain way electrodes and there's also say an unnatural capacitance between the two cables. Uh, that means that that capacitance plays a very important role when you want to transfer say a very pure signal of whatever form say a pure a pure uh, square wave and you want to uh, transport that square wave over a very long cable uh, say you will surely see that the the, the pure waveform will deteriorate. So it looks perhaps after say 100 meters or so or 200 meters a little bit like this waveform on the oscilloscope. Is this a problem? Well this is in a certain way a problem. Uh, I can remember old computer cables uh, of the 1980s, 1990s. They uh, uh, must not be had not to be made too long because otherwise there was a kind of deterioration of the zero and the one. So that uh, say, say the the information sent by the computer to say the printer or to another computer uh, could not. Uh, be brought over in a very proper way. So faulty. That was one of the um, uh, things, one of the problems in the 1980s. Uh, computer technology, I'm talking about RS232 lines etc etc. Now that whole problem is uh, more or less no longer there. Of course, in theory and in practice, it's still there. 
you can encounter encounter that problem. Anyway, uh, too much talking about such a say simple old school telephone cable. Hope you liked it. This is the most important thing. You can salvage all these beautiful cables out. Use them for uh, wiring electronics, uh, radio coils. Due to the high quality isolation here, when you wind here for instance a, a six turns or eight turns coil on the toilet roll, like I told, uh, you have a good quality shortwave coil that you can use to receive radio stations between 2 MHz and approximately 10 MHz. Thanks for watching, that was all to tell.